All right, so I got a new ter one terabyte MyBook drive for my MacBook. Uh, don't know it's for generation. I don't know. I don't care. There it is, one terabyte drive, and I'm gonna unbox it for you all. All right, so here we go. Got the plastic. So the drive has been unwrapped. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So here we go, we're breaking the seal. So you'll then open. And opening it, oh, oh, it's stuck on something great. Alright, so got the hard drive and cables, so I'm gonna pull it out. The guide. And some paperwork. Give it this box. And here is the drawhead itself. So let's just unwrap it. So you just gotta pop this off like a leaf. Yep, like so. Did you see this? Yeah, you should. Move it back to it. So we have the power supply, pretty humongous if you ask me. Can I have a connection? More paperwork. The USB cable. Ah, so maybe I'm joking. Mm -hmm. Um, mini USB to regular. In the hard drive itself, it's pretty neat. It's okay, buddy. So we're going to plug in the hard drive with this cable to the back, so let's begin. And I want to witness this for myself too, so I'm going to be feeling around so Alright, so here's the power, and here we go. Just plugged it in, it started up. So here's a picture of the hard drive you're looking at. And now I'm going to fire up a soft piece of software on my computer to show you what it's going to be like.
Right now, so we are uh, formatting the disk. Now we're formatting the disk, and it wants to know if I want to use Untitled as um, used for backup. And I'm going to say cancel now because I want to make a hard drive split or partition. So, right now I'm going to make one partition. Or actually two partitions. Alright, so the first one I'm going to call time machine. And I'm just going to wait and then the second one, I'm going to call it 250 GB GB um, drive. And I'm going to make the size 250 gigabytes. And then this one. has this much left so I has 681.51 gigs left to create partition Alright, so now this is just popped up. Well, it didn't pop up, but whatever. And I asked you, I want to use the time machine or 250 gigabyte backup. <laughs> I want to use the time machine one, so I'm going to click use backup. And now I've got to do this. Which is leaving it intact. My 256 or 250 gigabyte hard drive that I'm going to use for video backups.